Hi guys, I'm jumping on here really fast to do a video of a haul, a small haul that um, I did from Frank Garcia's studio. I will have everything linked below um, to find if you want to get your hands on any of this goodness. I will have my discount code below as well. And just know that anytime you spend over 75 bucks, it's free shipping guys. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I got this right here which is the glass glitter sterling. So I, if you watched my video previously to this one, you will see the mini book that I made taking a class from Frank and he uses this on the flowers and I loved it. So this one right here is $9.99 and <clears throat> comes in a glass. And um, this one's the only one that sells in chunky. There's a lot of other glitter glass colors, but they're not chunky like this where you can see the shards of glass. Insane beautiful, okay. I got this die right here. Now, what I'm gonna probably end up doing is you're gonna see this haul and then I'm gonna link right next to it. So it'll be like one video and you're gonna show how, I'll show you how these all looked cut out, okay? So that's this one right here. These are new Sizzix dies that have just come to the studio. So I will show those. He also just received this one right here. And this right here is a steel rule die so this one right here is the one where you can cut through chipboard, heavyweight cardstock, felt, fabric, whatever, thin aluminum type of metal or whatever. Yeah, so you can use that. So I'm gonna show all of these cut um, at the very end. I'll just have to link it, okay? Is this not a beautiful die? I love this one. I'm a fan of anything that is doily-like, but what I love about it is it's not super intricate. Okay, because <laughs> that takes forever. And I was like, yes, living for that. And then I got right here. I'm going to build some flowers for you guys so you can see. And I'll probably be using felt. And then you have that right here. Again, this is a steel rule. And then we have this one right here. And this does the layer of these. Okay, so that one's $34.99. And this one, what it does is you have this die, this die, and then there's another die on the outside that cuts the actual, um, I believe these go inside. Yeah, I have to play with it because I have a die very similar to this. Um, I believe you have, to, no, I don't know. I'm gonna play with it. And once I actually do it, I'll tell you. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Since I haven't taken it out of its package and I don't wanna lie to you. Okay, and then I also got some of these. Okay, these right here, also I have seen so many girls on Instagram that are using these to um, put on their flowers. They sprinkle these, it just gives it dimension. You can also put these like a little baggie and you can um, color it, um, change the colors of these. Um, you put it in a baggie and you can put like, um, what's that called? The reinker stuff and you mix it up with a little bit of water so it's not so potent, shake it up and it changes the colors or you can paint on top of them, whatever it is. But this is like a mixed media type of item, but I've seen girls use it in their cards and stuff on their cards. Love it. So I want to give that a whirl. And then I got this one right here. This is a sweater 3D. I wish I would have brought the, because I did run that through the die and I forgot it at probably at Frank's. So this is really super pretty. Then I also got this one and this right here. There's $14.99. They show this one the price on it. If not, there's the price for that one. I have a lot of those 3Ds. They are absolutely amazing. So this right here, I did take it out already. It comes with the embossing folder plus the dies to create that adorable bear. And of course I have it covered. Good gracious. And there's not a lot of pieces. Yeah because you know me I'm not a fan of a thousand pieces that is just not my jam so I got that to play with so I will cut that out. everything that's dye like I'm gonna end up showing you how it looks cut out all right then I went ahead and picked up the rest um he got um Vicky Booten's the remaining of her collection for Fernwood so I had to have it because I really love this collection it's really super stinking cute and I'm living for it. Look at all those die cuts. Absolutely stinking cute. And then I got her tassels. Look at that. And they're acrylic. Dead. And there's that. There you go, 
And then I also picked up these right here, which are called embellishments, her embellishments. So, and, and you can make, look at that little flip tag, tag flip. Using all of the stuff that's in here. How cute are those? It's giving me all the touchy feelies. Love it. So I got that. You know what, guys? And I wasn't a really big fan of the um, the market square, so I hand selected what I wanted because a lot of it, like I said previously, it's it's all been recycled over and over and over. And I know there's a lot of Maggie fans on here, and I love her stuff. I'm not talking any crazy. I love Maggie stuff, but a lot of this stuff um, is very similar to the other ones. That's the only reason why. And I have all of her collections, okay? <laughs> Just so you know. So I did not need to get a bunch of stuff that was kind of um, pretty much the same as her other collections. So I hand selected. So, and let me tell you, that stuff, he sold out in like a heartbeat. It's crazy. Every time he brings in Maggie, we laugh on how fast it goes because it's crazy. So these are the um, card socks I picked. This is just the reverse of that. And this is the reverse of that one. So he has plenty of these card, the card stock, the individual sheets like this. That's the reverse of that. All right. And I got this one, super pretty. Here's the reverse. And then I got these because they were cut apart. And I don't know, I have no idea if he was able to get more but Frank always gets restocks. If he can get it and he knows it's something that everybody wants, he always restocks. Uh, but the only thing is he just has to wait for shipping because he's not the only store <laughs> that's trying to get their hands on that collection. This is also the Fernwood. These are the stickers. And for these, I like to make ephemera out of them. So I just put them on cardstock and cut a fussy cut around it. But look at how cute, guys. I'm not a mixed media person. I love it. I just don't know how to do it. But it is, this collection by Vicky is killing me. It is absolutely adorable. So he has the whole collection there, a bunch of stuff. I didn't get everything. I only, you know, hand selected what I wanted. And this right here is vellum. How cute is that? And there's a price for that. And it's foiled dead this right here guys showstopper look okay for those of you that are vintage lovers shabby lovers whatever this right here he's finally brought them back he gets these from germany guys okay so these right here i'm just gonna flip through a few i'm not gonna go through all of them because you guys will pass out um but look at i mean i'm just dead these are like genuine vintage you see that they're just oh they're so beautiful and look at that it even still has like in pencil whoever had it wrote on it the stains on it these are not like stamped on this is the way it comes and all of these when you get these these are all um not gonna be the same okay this just happened to be the roll that i got and i kept it flat and i absolutely it's so gorgeous guys so you'll see that right here is just you know music and then you have you know stuff that's like oh my gosh i don't know pieces of a book I'm just flipping through some of these just beautiful i love these they're so gorgeous they're all you can see they've been ripped out of books some of them are look at that the stains these are like actual stains on the book because you can feel it. You know, like when you stain something that it gets kind of like warped. So it's warped on there. It's absolutely, I love it. Love it. So this is a lot of music. Yeah, so um, these right here, he has in the studio and um, I will have to see, um, if not, he'll put it, I'm gonna have everything linked below, how's that? I'm just gonna do that. But yeah, so this is absolutely beautiful. And look at that, how pretty is that gypsy love song? It's gorgeous. 
So got those. And then last but not least, I had to get a um, traveling Ot light. He also sells these as well. These are $53. So um, you all know Ot lights are not cheap. So, but I love this because it has a handle on it and then it opens up like this. So here's the bulb. And then you just turn it off by closing it. It's not plugged in, so that's why it's not um, turning on. But I absolutely love it. A lot of us got these because I crop there all the time. Um, whether I'm helping him at the studio or whether I'm cropping, taking a class, whatever, and I never have a light. And sometimes, like for instance, he had his class and he uses a projector. So he has to dim the lights. So these, this came in handy just for that reason alone. So he does have these. Again, I will have this linked below. And if you use my discount code, plus you just, you know, push your order up to 75 bucks, you sh it ships for free. So um, I've already used this a few days. So that's why it's not in the box anymore. But I just wanted to quickly come on here and show you guys all of this yumminess that I just picked up. And if you, if this video is not too long, then I'm gonna go ahead and attach the die cuts. If not, I will make a separate video um, showing how all the dies look once you cut them out, right? Bye guys. Hey guys, all right, so this is the second part of the haul. So I don't know if I was able to link it or not because it keeps telling me my memory is full and it's driving me nuts because I don't have that much on my phone. So it's either connected or I had to do a separate video. So either way, here is the die that I showed you, the Sizzix die, okay? So with this right here, you cannot do heavyweight cardstock on this. You'd want to use 65 pound cardstock and you would want to use a shim to get through here and a shim for some people that don't know what that means means you do your stack and then just put a piece of cardstock on top and then run it through or if you have one of those precision type plates the, I'm not like the creasing plates or stuff like that that would help to um, the creasing plates are meant for embossing but um, it just gives that extra layer to go through so that it looks like this when I did this I used this is a 65 this is just um, who is this oh, Maggie Holmes one of her cardstocks. So, um, and I used a shim, which is a cardstock. I just layered my sandwich, put the cardstock through, and then ran it, and it came out very easy. The part that got messed up here is because when I layered it, this part was hanging over the edge of my die when I ran it through. So this is my fault, not the die fault. So it got stuck right here because this bended when I did it this way and didn't actually run through it. So I just want you to know that's my fault, not the die fault. But other than that, you see it came through really well, even the little itty bitty parts. You just have to make sure um, to use a shim. Unless you have like that automatic die cutting and it squishes it really hard, you'll probably get it through one pass, but I'm using my um, Big Shot, my hand one. All right, then for this one right here, this is using these dies. I will have all of these. Um, well, you should know that these are linked below, but I use these three. So this cuts out a solid square and then you, these are your layering pieces. And then all of these right here, guys, this is the beauty. Every single piece that falls out is this perfect confetti heart and they're perfectly shaped. So you get three different sizes. You get one, two, and then you get actually four. Um, good gracious. So you'll see you get like these four sizes and I love these. These are perfect to add on your projects or use as shakers. I always keep these. Um, in fact, you'll see right here, you'll see I have these, I have these. I never throw these perfect hearts away because I always need them for something. So let's put these here. And then this right here is how it looks. Okay, so these right here are the fallouts. I just layered them on there. And um, so I, when I layer these, this is the glue I, I absolutely have always lived by. I get this from Frank and I just, on these, I just layer it all on the edges. I don't go on the middle. It's up to you if you wanna do that. I don't feel the need to. So I just do it along the perimeter of both of them. And then, um, I just stick on the edges. These right here, I just quickly popped on. I used my hot glue gun and just popped them on there in the middle. And if I want to take it a step further, if I use this for a card front, I could put bling on every single one of these. And there's hot glue everywhere, guys, because I was literally trying to hurry to put this up. Um, 
and I used my scrap paper to put this together, but it comes, this cuts very well because this right here is um, Basil 110 cardstock. So it cut like butter the square. These right here are just collections, but like I said, they're scrap pieces um, and they're 65 pound weight. I'm thinking that if these would be able to cut through the 110, I did not try that on the big ones, but it cut like butter for the square. So this is just to give you an idea of what you can do. Love this die. Okay, and then for this one right here is the flower die. It looks like this. It's called, it's, where is it? Seasonal Florals 3D. Okay, and I, for the life of me, cannot find a tutorial since this is a brand new release on how to build this. And it drove me crazy. And I'm like thinking, okay, well, it's got to be like regular petal dies. But if it's a specific flower, I, I can't tell you. So this is how I did it. And I did multiple layers. I just made it my own. This one right here, I ran through with 110 basil cardstock. Because again, I'm using my scrap pieces just to show you guys. So I have eight of these big petals and eight of these medium-sized petals. I did not use the leaf. There does it, it comes with the leaf. So you'll see right here. I did not do that one, but I did four of those, four of those. I did one of this and two of this one, because these one, this one right here stands taller than that one, just so that it could add more color, a little more fullness, and that's how I did it. Now look at the card box. Where's my card box so I can show you? I could not find a tutorial for this one to save my life. And I went on Sizzix, and I Googled, and I went on YouTube, and there was nobody doing tutorials. And I wanna learn how to do this because I love the felt. I wanna try it with the felt, but um, I don't know, and I just did it this way. So this is the flower I made, <laughs> just um, assuming how to do it a different way. So once I can figure that out and there's a tutorial that comes up, then I can go ahead and do another one with felt. But I like it this way. And you see all the lines in here. That is because I used the Tim Holtz. This is a creasing pad. Um, it's the Tim Holtz one. And then it comes with this and then a set of tweezers. This right here is the big one and literally I just ran it down. The, so it looks like the petals have veins because it doesn't die cut embossed like that. That's because I was running it down this way because it's so heavy. So when you use this, the correct way to do these is that you spritz water on to your cardstock and then you start molding it so that it starts cupping up better. I did not do that because I was just rushing to do this. But, um, and plus because you probably would want to use a lighter weight cardstock and not so heavy. But I just wanted to do it this way and I figured, you know, it looks just like, you know, leaves with um, the veins through it. I'm cool with it, just to give you an idea. So, um, I did get this one from Frank as well. Okay, and then moving on, I did this one. Okay, with the embossing folder and this extra stinking cute little bear. And I also used the 3D sweater embossing folder. All right, so this is how it looks embossed on foil. Look at how clean that is absolutely love it okay so we have that and then this is how she came out are you dying i'm dying i'm literally dying right now <laughs> so flipping cute so again i used my scraps and you will see this is just a polka dotted paper but look at how that embossing folder does the texture of an actual sweater extra flipping cute like i can't right now so stinking cute so um that does the sweater and then I just layered these pieces on and you know guys I've said it a hundred times I'm not a fan of little tiny pieces but this came together so fast and I think well honestly not I think what helped me to do it better is using a picker like one of these and just putting it on put the little glue pop it on pop it on and like that and I cut these with heavy weight this is all heavy weight cardstock again from my scrap so this Sizzix dies right here it cuts through heavy weight like butter, even that little tiny piece. This is my Martha Stewart um, punch that does the bows. I just popped her on there really quick so to make a little girl. And that's it. I mean, super stinking cute, guys. So if you wanted to run this embossing fold, make the card front like this, and then you can maybe lift her up. 
so I don't want to show up towards me because I look crazy right now. Um, you can pop that up and then maybe add little blings in here and then your sentiment and be done. How cute is that though, guys, right? So that's it, guys. I just wanted to pop on here and show you. I'm still working on this one. I cannot find a tutorial to save myself for this as well. And it's killing me, like seriously. I, I have this cut out, right? And I know this part goes here, okay? And but this right here with these tabs, I'm like, what, what am I supposed to do with that? Does it go here? And you do it this way. But if I do that, then look how it, I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. And then this part won't go down all the way if I do that. So I have like no clue. This right here is the tab part that goes like this so they can make your pocket. And I need to find a tutorial. But look, see, I don't know how they did it. I just have no clue. And it's driving me absolutely nuts. And I'm determined because this is adorable. But I just don't know what these tabs are meant for. I don't know if they go the other way. I have no clue. So if you guys know where I can find the tutorial, because I looked Catherine Breen up and I can't find anywhere. And I know because these are such new releases, but I would figure they'd have a design team or something. But I will be making projects with this because this is really adorable. Um, and other than that, that's it. All right, guys, have a super amazing blessed Sunday and I will see you later. Bye.